What? What do you say? Best really done, no. Gobeni gets nothing at Universal Japan. It's sad. It's a sad day for Gobeni Nation. And speaking of Gobeni Nation, hello everyone and welcome back <laughs> to another Fake Grand Order video. I'm Woki and I'm here for a special kind of video because let me first pick the, the unit in question. Um, as you can tell by the name of this video, I got my Samba Quits to Bond 10. And what better way of doing I realize this, that a lot of the units I get to Bond 10, I never actually use any of the Bond CEs. So I figured to celebrate actually getting Bond 10, I would use her in a team that uses her Bond CE. So that's going to be today's video. <laughs> um, and thankfully, thank God, there's actually someone who's a Moon Cancer. I guess so, I guess before anything, let's talk about Samba Quets real, bit, real quick. Of course, the greatest Christmas units ever released. You can feel the spirit of Christmas in her design. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You can look at all the Christmas up in there. She represents it very well. Um, in terms of an actual unit, she's actually very solid. As you can see here, she gets Sambista, which increases all allies' attack for three turns. Gains crit stars for each turn for yourself. Gift of the Goddess increases crit star gather rate and crit star drop rate for one ally. And then she has an ability that increases her uh, Buster card effectiveness and the... Crit star gather rate for a single turn for herself. And her noble phantasm is the uh, Yucatan Regalia de Navidad, which is a rank A noble phantasm, which is increases the crit star drop rate and then deals heavy damage to all enemies, increasing critical strength for three turns for all allies. Um, this would actually be very effective if she could shoot her MP in this video, but she is not going to be able to. Uh, the one problem that you can see here with Samba Quetz is the fact that she has no way of actually buffing her, giving herself at least 30% NP, so that means that she can't actually be used for looping purposes, so then what do you actually use her for? And the answer is, anytime there's a, a need for her <laughs> is when you use her, it just doesn't come up very often. Um, but she is a very solid unit if you are in need of a ruler to just kind of take the hits and be there, and I just realized something I forgot to turn off. Do not, one moment. Okay, do not disturb us on, so no work email will randomly show up in the video now. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, I, I tend to find the best success for her in something like the Grail Quest, where you can take advantage of her being a ruler, and you're able to get a bunch of crit stars, and the fact that you can easily give her a uh, bunch of buster crit stuff by herself makes her pretty good. But a lot of the negatives have to come down to that you can't really use her for looping purposes, because when she was originally designed... Buster didn't have the, really the ability to loop at all, so it wasn't really a thing that you ever thought about. Um, uh, the idea of Buster looping was like, RS turn one, Kaleidoscope Ruler quits a quadle turn two, and then you use, like, not even Double Merlin, because Double Merlin would not get you there. You'd have to use Double Waver or something. <laughs> not something you can do. So, this is the team that we're going to be specifically using her in. Where she is not going to be using her NP, which would be a shame, because if I could, this would be very useful. But instead, we'll be taking advantage of this Bond CE that she gets. That's right. The Winged Serpent of the Holy Knight, uh, which is the little Christmas pterodactyls that Quetz has. Very cute, very Christmas. Uh, the Winged Serpent of the Holy Knight increases all allies' uh, quick and buster card effectiveness by 10%, but only if Quetzalcoatl is on the field at that exact moment when she is on. Um, so they'll always get quick and buster as long as she's alive and on the field. So, it's an okay buff. Um, so, what is a team that could actually take advantage of it? Here it is right here. That's right. Um, Double Scotty. Uh, Himiko. And we got uh, Summer Martha. The reason is, is because the only thing that rulers have type advantage against are Berserkers and Moon Cancers. And when are you ever going to fight a full team of Moon Cancers or an Assassin? Not an Assassin. When are you ever really, when is it ever going to be really relevant? And the answer is right here, right now. Because this is actually going to be able to take place of it. So let's go right into it. Um, yeah, the other bummer is, I guess... <laughs> For rulers, if you're actually looking to use them for AoE purposes, which is again the idea of looping, you'd have to be fighting only Berserkers or only Moon Cancers, and that just ain't happening. I actually went to go look up to see how many Moon Cancer enemies there exist in the game, and the answer is all the Moon Cancer servants, and then like three dudes, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm pretty sure all three of them are from the new uh, ordeal call that just got uh, announced for summer over in JP. So literally no way of doing it. So here's how this team works out. 
Uh, I forgot to set up the correct thing. It's okay because I got lucked out here. So here's how we're gonna function. Is that we're gonna give support Scotty everything that she needs. And then we're going to go... Actually, does she need it? She does need it. Okay, actually, no she doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna give this to Samba Quetz over here. I may have just come up with a solution. I'm going to then switch out. Go over to Himiko. And then Himiko will do her basic dum dum dum. Go up here. I just realized I fucked up. No, I didn't. It's fine. Go here. Go here. And then from this point on, we need more. So I think what we have to do is, first of all, okay, yes, we have that ready to go. We need to give this to. Oh, yeah, give a little bit more here. Go here. Um, okay, now we have to go here. Perfect, okay. And now, this should work out the way I think it is. So we're gonna go here, here. I might need to use this to be 100% real with you. Here we go. <laughs> use this here, here. And get it here. The idea here is this team will eventually beat BB. <laughs> if I could do it in two turns, that would be the dream. Uh, I did test this exactly once to see how it would work out, but we'll see here. But the idea here is that we're getting so much crit rate up and everything else up that um, we're going to be able to kill BB regardless of anything. And if it's not exactly three turns, it will last exactly four to five turns. <laughs> So there she goes, shooting a present, and then she should instantly kill here with the Buster Crit, because it's Buster Crits. And as you can see from here, we have a buttload of them right here. That is correct. So, we will go from here. Let's see, we go here, here. Uh, go here. Go here, here. And then... Yeah. I doubt we'll be able to get 30% from anything, but... It is worth trying, at least. There we go. Okay. Quick resistance up. That's extremely annoying for me. That was 71 crit stars is an insane amount of crit stars to get here, by the way. Okay, let's go... Let's see. Go here. Here. And then I think we'll go for... Samba. It is technically her video. Celebrating her. So yeah, I love, as you can tell here, Quetz in general. So any way for me to kind of figure out how to do stuff would be amazing with them would be amazing. She did not kill the second Nobu. She left the second Nobu with eight? That is annoyingly specific. Whoa! What's going on there? Sorry, one of the cats just went jumping. Alright. That is insanely annoying that that was so specific. Um... Well, now this is kind of annoying. I guess we'll go here. Go here. And hope that... Unfortunately, now that it's just not happening. Alright, now it should be. I cannot believe that one little bit of stuff was enough. Anyway, this should be fine. I'll go here. I did the wrong thing, because I'm dumb. And I'm uh, flustered by checking to see if my cat dropped anything. Nope, did not drop anything. But yeah, I literally, I literally like Quetz. Um, I also love Samba Quetz. As much as that was, it seemed like I didn't like her at the beginning of the video where I talked about her. No, I absolutely love Samba Quetz. I just want more. I just, she's already good. I just want more reason to use her. Is that so wrong? Is it so wrong to ask for buffs of your units when you know they don't necessarily need them compared to a bunch of other units? I want to say no. Society would have other questions for me, though. All right. This should be enough. Navidad! Yep, there we go. Alright. Alright. Not the worst. 
Echo here again. So, hmm. Okay, go. Here we go. Hope to get a little bit more lucky in terms of everything here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, three. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so here's what I'm, I'm thinking. No, oh, it's not going to work out the way I want it. Actually, yes, it should work out the way I want it. So start by giving her here. Then go here. Then go here. Um, then switch her out. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. I believe this will give her. Yep. Okay. Okay, that is. Hmm. Do I need to use this one right now? Based off of everything? I think it's fine. Yes. I'll just use it. It's fine go here. The plan I had, I ended up abandoning in my head. I didn't say anything, but I ended up abandoning it. I was trying to see if there was a way with, based off of the cards that I had here for it to go to Quetz and then also go to um... Also go to Scotty, but I do not think it was actually possible. So... There we go. Easy enough to kill. When you have like 100%, 200% to, I believe, <laughs> Buster cards, you should have a pretty decent time for the most part on a lot of things. So, okay, we'll go here. I will hold off on Scotty. Oh, that's unfortunate that Scotty's one Buster card is right here. Because if I remember right, she only has two. That is correct. <laughs> it's fun. This will give me a reason to use her. Right there. There we go, drop some stuff. There we go. Because it gets a quick resistance up, which is very annoying. But it's okay, because this time I actually saved the thing that's going to be important for it. Which is this little bit. Okay. Go here. Uh, go here. Shit, I used the wrong one, it's fine. I was not killing in three turns. But if I fail to kill in three turns, then I know why. It's because I screwed myself. There we go. No surviving with 8 HP here, Nobu. Ninety-nine crit stars. Doesn't kill in three turns, but let me tell you, this team does make a lot of crit stars. Uh, yep. So him and go with her fifty percenter. Go in and punch. This is really just pure violence on BB for the most part. Alright, 16 criticals, because everything everyone's cooldowns are down. Okay. Hit her with the giant present. Can Taiga come up? It's funny because when uh, now that I'm using her in this way, I'm like, you know what would be really good? It would be a nice way to, to guarantee the way to shoot off her MP. And the answer is to give her Kaleidoscope, but then if I give her Kaleidoscope, it defeats the 10% to quick and uh, buster that she's currently giving up to. <laughs> so it is a little bit funny to think about. Maybe I should try it just for once to see if I can. I don't think it is possible to consistently 3 or 1 turn with this team, by the way. Um... Sure, I'll go here. Then we'll go here. And BB will likely hit me with an NP on someone. Thank you for the overdrive. Okay. Not bad. I don't know why I looked at that. But okay, wait. Go back. All right, for the last one here, go here, 
find one now. Go here. Say Paradactyls, you've done a fantastic job so far. Uh, try it with Kaleidoscope. Same team. Same go ahead. And we'll see how this one goes. Uh. Class Affinity Avengers. Battle 1 of 2. Okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3. So I feel like it'd be better to keep... Okay. Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This all makes perfect sense, I swear. Uh, switch. Go here. Go here. Activate this. Activate this. Uh, activate this. Power up again. Go here. Go here. I may as well just give it to her. Uh, and then yes. That should be good enough. There we go. She should be able to kill with two buster cards here. Uh, assuming that the second one crits, that is. 30% chance to fail. Never failed me before. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Yuko. All right, a bunch of crit stars in. Very good. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad. I'm using it this way for a specific reason. The two Buster cards would be nice to use it, but I act in actuality, I think to get the maximum damage, I need to take advantage of the 50% extra that she has there. Wonder if that case of regular Scotty would be better for this then. Punch, punch, punch. I'm actually gonna be able to three turn with this, I think. Unless Scotty just gets extremely unlucky. Or that one tiny bit of a thousand heal was enough to completely derail everything that I was trying to do. Let's find out, huh? Finish the fight right here. It would be nice if I had Caster Scotty's ability, but I feel like then my... The reason I'm going double Scotty here is because the idea of I could... Depending on how well the card's placed in the beginning there, I could go with either one of them. Ah, oh, it's not enough. If only I had a, bust, a Buster card instead of an Arts card, it would have been possible. But unfortunately, it was out of my hands. Not possible. Uh, let's go... I mean, she should be dead from this. And if she's not dead from this, I'll have plenty of good stars for the next turn. Now the time has come. So close, yet so far away. Quetz is all with a smile on her face, taking whatever shots BB has for her. Uncaring, unbothered, in her lane. Three buster cards is gonna be enough. Santa hit. Alright. I'm gonna give it one more shot to see if I can get the- thank you for the CE drop, I don't need it. Actually, do I need it? Mm. Mm. No, no, I don't. Okay. Keep going. I was thinking in terms of team build, I was like, do I need it? No, the answer is no. The method works, I swear. Watch this. Alright, Scotty, this is the last chance. End the video off with, with the return. The world's most... Um... Inconsistent three turn in the world. But it will be your three turn. Mighty chain and everything. The ball is in your court. Don't let the dream die here. Umi control, you got this. 100 down, perfectly fine. So close, yet so far away. <laughs> Damn. Man. 
it's over. But that's alright. It should not be that hard to clean this up now. Uh, should this be enough? I mean, in theory, I could just do this for Scotty. There we go. Scotty, do not leave BB alive. I should have went with quests. <laughs> feel like this is that was my specific thing of going I should have believed in my girl and she hit me with the 420 soccer beam disrespectful wait okay we'll go here. there you go 9,000 hit him with the giant mirror kick him in the face There we go. I feel like that probably would have been possible if I had just a singular more NP level on Scotty. <laughs> it was so close, yet so far away. It was just that little bit of damage I couldn't get there. I was probably would have been able to squeeze it out with, um, with some other stuff if I thought about it a little bit more. This is going to haunt me forever that I've not been able to do it. I was not able to do it. Um... Yeah, wait a minute. If I do this... Alright, you know what? One last one. I swear, this is it. I'm not gonna get a lot of chances to ever use a... Samba Quetz team at all. Let me have this. Let me use one of mine. And then from here and go here. No! Damn it. They had level 6 on there. It's kind of annoying. Uh, it'd be funny if the answer is why isn't this working is that I've actually been using a ruler Scotty friend who had six and quick this entire time and I'm gonna look through this video and be like damn it I was okay this one right here and this one's still mp1 so okay all variables being the same let's go Though I do realize, I think I forgot to switch the CEs there at the... Okay, no, I did not. Thank God. Um... <laughs> That's kind of annoying, but it's okay. No, actually, yes, that is in fact very annoying. <laughs> that is the, the worst set of cards I could have asked for. Literally could not have been... Actually, can I save this? Yes, I can. <laughs> this all went bad. <laughs> and now I can't even kill the Nobuji, I just realized. My god. This is what it looks like to be punished by god. When your hubris gets too much to you and you fly too close to the sun. This is what it looks like. Turn 6 and the, the Nobuji is not dead and about to use his noble phantasm to kill you. This should finish. Surely three rulers hitting them with buster cards is enough, and I don't need to use the old phantasm. Okay. That went bad. That went very bad. Did I learn my lesson from that? No. Good try it one more time. Because I feel like I'm so close. I feel like I'm so close. I'm, I'm right there, man. Now I have to find one with a 50%er with again. Uh, there they are. Okay. Same person. Surely, the timeline has been reset, and I will not get four to five cards of the Scotty I need at the front. This is manageable. I can work with this. This works. Okay, so I actually want to... Let me see. Get rid of... Two from support. I think the answer is... It has to be the Scotty no matter what to stick around, so... Um... Since you're going away. Go here. And then go here. Then switch you out. Here you go. Uh, go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go. Here. go, here. go, here. go here. 
here. Then go here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Okay. Believe. The some say that all humanity is is a non-never-ending amount of people believing. Believe in Santa Claus, and Santa Claus will believe back in you. Give him the present. Enjoy that. Now, Samba Quetz, I do need you to do a whole buttload of damage on this crit. Thank you very much. <laughs> there was a chance that she maybe couldn't have done it because she didn't have type advantage, but she did it. She's a, a true trooper. Um, okay. Now, from here, save... Okay, let me see. How many of those cards have I used? There was the one quick, so I'm out of quick cards. Meaning, I used the one arts. I had the one quick, so the only thing I'll have after this is double buster. Will double buster be enough? I think... Okay. Go here. And go full round of Buster. Okay. Not bad. The Nobu did not activate the quick. Activating. Scotty, do this. Finish the fight. Bring the troops home. Make the final one three turns. Believe. Clap your hands. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Three turns. That's right, girl. Three count. You know why? One, two, three. She went down in three turns. We did it. So there you go. Uh, I love Samba Quetz. <laughs> and I'm surprised that I was actually able to find a way to uh, make a team that actually utilized her and be able to beat something in three turns. But it had to be in a very specific and weird node. And it had to be with a very specific and weird team. This team specifically... In where the um, the main support unit is also the DPS with Scotty, and also the main DPS has an advantage, and also the other two units that you bring in also have an advantage. So therefore, this could only realistically be done on Moon Cancers because Berserkers do not give enough MP gain that would make it <laughs> so that you actually no, the MP gain shouldn't matter that much. Well, but they'll probably be kind of fucking you up. But either way, um, I'm proud. Of all the girls here, Santa Martha, good job doing it in the back there. Mash, very nice in the back. You all contributed to the team. Everyone smiles. And that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to bring in the Paradactyl one more time. Because uh, it deserves to be here. Bond. Merry Christmas, everyone. Goodbye. And get a sideways view, too. Merry Christmas, boy!